I did not weep at the death of Dr. Martin Luther King, nor did I weep for those who died in the next few days. Tears are not shed for the dead, but for the living. My heart went out to Mrs. King and her four children. I was sympathetic, but my sympathy came from a deep feeling of Christian love and not from guilt at having been a hypocrite. The streets of Atlanta were filled with people from all over the world to honor Reverend King. The tribute accorded him was equal to that usually reserved for a president. And I have no doubt that many of the people who marched that day were expressing their loves for a powerful leader. But others were there for other reasons. Some came because they felt it would advance their political careers. Others came with hope to fill in the vacuum which Reverend King's death had left in the leadership of the civil rights movement. Feel free to criticize me as Reverend King criticized me, for I will be critical of you too. I will criticize you when you condone lawlessness and attempt to justify riots, looting, burning, and murder. And I will criticize you when you interpret every wish as a God-given right and sacrifice one man's freedom for another's material desire. I felt no need to do penance, for I had done Dr. King and his followers no wrong, and I never will.